sisters, respected viewers, respected boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, viewers, Nazarin, Samiin, Hazirin, Sabko, Salam, and welcome everyone to the late evening of this SIRA conference. I can assure you this will be another couple of segments of extreme excitement because we have very, very well-known speakers, couple of speakers, which you are surely fond of, surely fond of. These speakers are very well-known on social media, social media superstars, I call them, and you will hear them. Everyone at home, I want you to also grab your seats and enjoy this evening. Let us start this evening once again with the recitation from the glorious Quran. The recitation, inshallah, will be such the way Allah Jalla Jalaluhu Amma Nawaluhu revealed the Quran from the protected tablet to the first heaven and from the first heaven to the chest of our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Such shall be the recitation. So for Qur'an, reading, recitation, I want to call on stage Sheikh Qari Ashiqur Rahman. Sheikh Qari Ashiqur Rahman, please make your way to the stage. Jazakumullah. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajeem. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد كان لكم في رسول الله أسوة حسنة أسوة حسنة لمن كان يرجو الله واليوم الآخر لمن كان يرجو الله واليوم الآخر وذكر الله كثيرا ولما رأى المؤمنون الأحزاب قالوا هذا ما وعدنا الله ورسوله وصدق الله من المؤمنين رجال من المؤمنين رجال صدقوا ما عهدوا الله عليه فمنهم من قضى نحبه ومنهم من ينتظر وما بدلوا تبديلا ليجزي الله الصادقين بصدقهم ويعذب المنافقين ويعذب المنافقين إن شاء أو يتوب عليهم إن الله 
الله كان غفورا رحيما ورد الله الذين كفروا بغيظهم لم ينالوا خيرا وكفى الله وكان الله قويا عزيزا وأنزل الذين ظاهروهم من أهل الكتاب من صياصيهم وقذف في قلوبهم وقذف في قلوبهم الرعب فريقا تقتلون وتأسرون فريقا وأورثكم أرضهم وديارهم وأورثكم أرضهم وديارهم وأموالهم وأرضا لم تطؤوها وكان الله على كل شيء قديرا صدق الله May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enable us to learn Quran in such way with awaz, beautiful awaz. Hence why on Iqra TV we have such programs where you can learn tajweed, better your Quran, better your recitation. Now, before we go on to the next part, I quickly want to call on stage uh, the UK Bangladesh Ulama Alliance. Uh, they have a few things to say. Uh, then we will go, inshallah, on to uh, Al Khair Foundation documentary. So, UK Ulama Alliance group, please make your way to the stage. <coughs> UK Ulama group on stage with Imam Qasim. Allah accepted your all good deed. Give us the reward this one and hereafter. Jazakumullah. I have to talk to Imam Sahib before I talk to him, but Imam Sahib will go, because he is angry with him. Alhamdulillah, Allah has reached him in the place of the place of the place. His demand is to do the work of the world. And this time, this is the only one in the world of Britannia, this is the only one in the world of the National Jew Conference. ہم اس کا شکر گزار ہے اور دعا کرتے ہیں اللہ تبارک تعالیٰ اس کے تمام خدمات کا قبول اور منظور فرمائے اور انشاءاللہ آئندہ سال سے بھی اس کا سلسلہ رابطہ رکھے یہ ہماری طرف سے مجلس کی طرف سے ان کے پاس ہمارا ڈیمانڈ ہے آپ حضرات کیا ان کے ہمارے ساتھ کے اتفاق ہے انشاءاللہ امام صاحب اعلان کرے گا خوشی سے اللہ تبارک تعالیٰ ان کے تمام خدمات کا قبول اور منظور فرمائے جزاکم اللہ حسن الجزا جزاکم اللہ الخیر و حسن الجزا یہ تو ایسی بات ہوئی کہ ہمارے گھر میں آ رہے ہیں اور ہمیں یہ اوارڈ دے رہے ہیں تو they coming at my house and they giving me اوارڈ جو ہے for inviting them ماشاءاللہ this is ماشاءاللہ الحمدللہ brother محمد علی's place and brother محمد علی and myself we are one 
and uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless everyone, mashallah. Um, the, these ulama have worked tirelessly. You know, the instruction or indication was from me, intention was from my side, but uh, without the support of, for example, Ma Fez, Ma Kiria, Ma Shweb, Ma Sadiq Sahib, and mashallah, the scholars, without their support, this conference would not have taken place. They have done great, mashallah, and in fact, if anybody deserves any award, is themselves, mashallah. So, Jazakumullah al khair. Many people have told me that we should do this next year again. I said, looking at the hassle that we had to go through this, never again. Yeah. So, um, but uh, inshallah, I mean, uh, we'll have a short discussion, um, and before closing of the program, uh, we will make announcement on that. Uh, what are the plans going forward, inshallah? Um, would you like to come in this place next year or somewhere else? Inshallah. Here, inshallah. Only from East Suez, not from London. Yeah. 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 So, inshallah, I mean, we'll plan something. Um, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written it, inshallah, we will plan it. Jazakum uh, khair. Thank you. Also, um, another important aspect is, mashallah, uh, behind this hall, there is like a stadium, old stadium, historical, you can say, just, just wall currently in the ground. Inshallah, that ground is being dedicated for Eidgah. So people Ipswich, Ipswich and surrounding areas will be offered will be able to come here and offer Eid Salah here. Um, with inshallah with family uh, and with a bit of you can say entertainment for their children inshallah so on Eid day um, Ipswich and surrounding communities are invited to come here inshallah Jazakumullah al khair Jazakumullah <laughs> Now, we will play a small documentary of Al Khair Foundation's work around the world. So I want everyone to watch and listen very, very carefully. After which I will call Imam Qasim on stage, inshallah. So can we have the AKF Al Khair Foundation documentary, please? Millions of lives have been transformed, and many millions spent on humanitarian aid. All this is made possible through Al Khair Foundation under the guidance and leadership of Imam Qasim. Al Khair Foundation is now firmly in the Premier League of charities worldwide. His guidance has propelled Al Khair Foundation into the forefront of the charity sector, with emergency supplies delivered within the UK to as far as Indonesia, Haiti, and Japan. Al Khair's aim is to be the first NGO on the ground during major disasters. This drive has made our emergency relief teams amongst the fastest responders in over 25 countries recently. More than 50,000 refugees aided during the European refugee crisis. Almost 100,000 Rohingya refugees supported during the migration crisis. More than 85,000 people aided within East Africa due to the drought and famine. Countless families supported with food packs and over 12,000 people benefited from our cholera campaigns in the recent Yemen crisis. The foundation continues to expand on one of its most defining projects with water and sanitation relief across Africa, the Middle East and South Asia. Over 25,000 hand pumps have been installed across the globe. Thousands of people benefit from our water tanker distributions every single day. Imam Qasim took water purification projects to the next level with an aim to provide purified drinking water in regions where water below the surface is contaminated. Our 76 water purification plants are supporting over 600,000 people and we aim to reach a million people soon, inshallah. Over a million people are supported through our water projects in Africa and over 3 million globally. More than 3,000 water wells built, benefiting nearly half a million people worldwide. 
Up to 100,000 people a day are benefiting from our desalination plant in Gaza, including schools, mosques and healthcare centers. From short-term medical camps aiding fleeing refugees to lifelong institutes serving entire communities, Alcare Foundation has cemented its international healthcare programs to support hundreds of thousands of innocent people. Over 9,000 people with disabilities have been provided with wheelchairs and tricycles. Regular land and sea ambulance services enable swift transfers to the nearest medical facilities in some of the most remote regions worldwide. Our clinic in the Dadaab refugee camp provides free health care to over 1,000 mothers and children every month. Over 620,000 people will have access to our Al Khair hospital in Gaza. Hundreds of children and adults' psychological needs are being supported through our refugee programs in Greece. Al Khair Foundation has been supporting disadvantaged children with their educational aspirations since 2012. Over 7,000 children worldwide are receiving primary and secondary education through our projects. 100,000 children have been given a supplementary education. Aiming to create a haven for the vulnerable, Imam Qasim has created programs to support their education, shelter and well-being. Thousands of orphans and widows have been supported through our Vulnerable People's programs. In the aftermath of disasters, Al Khair Foundation strives to help rebuild some of the world's most isolated communities. Over 100,000 people have received temporary shelters in times of emergency. Al Khair Foundation constructs villages from the ground up to accommodate and provide shelter for communities lacking any form of protective shelter. We have constructed 10 villages around the world accommodating over 20,000 people. An entire island village rebuilt in 2017 through our Lamu Model Village project. Long-term humanitarian solutions are a key goal for Imam Qasim and through self-sufficient livelihood projects these goals are being achieved. 7,000 women have benefited from our handicraft centers. Thousands of sewing machines have been distributed to vulnerable women. Al Khair Foundation continues to support the disadvantaged to practice their faith, believing that mosques play a key role in local and international communities. Nearly 700 mosques have been constructed internationally. To bring religious harmony, joy and a sense of relief in times of hardship is one of our fundamental objectives. Millions benefited from our Ramadan and monthly food packs programs in some of the tragic human situations. Our Eid gift packs have brought smiles to over 100,000 people across the globe. In the past three years alone, 10 million people have received Kabani meat through Al Khair Foundation, the largest distribution on behalf of Muslims in the UK. Apart from being one of the fastest growing charities, Al Khair is also one of the safest charity. Over 100,000 families in the UK trust Al Khair with their zakat, sadaq, and general donations. Many also allocate a percentage of their business profit to Al Khair, and some even bequeath substantial legacies. These projects have and will continue to aid those within conflict zones, those trapped in isolation, those in the midst of natural disasters. By the strength of the Al Khair team and under the guidance of Imam Qasim Rashid Ahmed, we will strive to fulfill our motto, balance without compromise. Jazakumullah, what did you think of that? Any response from the audience? MashaAllah. So, work around the world, the countries where Al Khair Foundation is working in, still requires daily looking after maintenance, maintaining. Hence why when we have a big audience like this, it's only right to take advantage and grasp onto the opportunity. For example, what you saw, global COVID-19 response from Al Khair Foundation, over 10,000 hygiene packs to mitigate COVID-19 in Gaza. Gaza is a place, I'm sure, for each and every one of us, we feel something in our hearts. Al Mustashfa Al Khair in Gaza is a huge project. I'm sure you've seen this on Ikhara TV. During the peak months and days in the lunar calendar, 
we fundraise and we ask people to help Al Khair. So in today's gathering, before you leave this hall, I would urge everyone on your tables, you will see a booklet like this. It has the full information of Al Khair Foundation, what it has done over the last 10 to 12 years, how much it has spent over the last 12 years, how many millions and millions of people Al Khair has helped over the last so many years, decades. Now, this has only happened because of people like you, because of the awam, because of the general public, because of your zakat, because of your sadaqah, because of your khairat, because of your lilla, and because of your generosity. And we want this generosity to continue. We do not want it to end here. We've had a wonderful day from 10 a.m., and it will continue until 10 p.m. As you know, 10th month on the 10th day. Alhamdulillah. So each and every person here, before you go, before you leave this hall, I will urge you to feel something in your hearts. And I would say to you, not only should you take it as a, as a zimmadari, as a responsibility, but whatever mali ibadah we can do, we should do. And not only you here, but every person here should go out and contact another 10 people. The more people we get to donate their sadaqah, it's better for us. One thing I say on television all the time, when we fundraise, we say, when we give, we are giving for ourselves. Now, I feel embarrassed sitting here because the ulama are sitting here and I have no need to tell you what to do. This is not only directed to the ulama because we have a big responsibility, but also to everyone at home. Everyone watching this very conference and this very event now.